day, Overtake. I hope all of this is actually working because uh, as you might read in our Discord, just a few minutes ago, I just came home from Berlin filming Nitro Nights for Overtake. So uh, it was like <laughs> from the train station, not from Berlin. Train station Cologne, <laughs> up until here. And then uh, out of the car, didn't unpack anything. I just ripped off my hoodie, started the lights, started the game. And here we are, another stream on Overtake. And since Jonas was already complaining, that I don't want to stream anymore. That's a lie. Just couldn't. <laughs> it just didn't fit the schedule. But I'm finally back. And it will be super, super cool today. Because uh, we already have been guilted into this. Now. Hi, Luca. Because we will actually go into F1 Manager, which I absolutely love to play. And do the Miami GP. Of course, with my favorite Formula 1 team, which is Haas F1. Because best team in the world, right? <laughs> Because they have good Dustina, so wherever good Dustina is, that's the best team. Um, yeah, and uh, we hope we can get some points for them. Uh, let me know if everything works as intended. It will look a bit weird in terms of, like, normally you see, like, a nice background here and stuff like that. I had to get rid of all of this for it to work in F1 Manager. Because if you ever saw F1 Manager videos or streams, then you might realize that there's not a lot of space for a cam. So yeah, um, I had to move myself somewhere, so <laughs> don't be freaked out. I will be in the middle of the screen, basically, during the in-game part. And um, yeah, that's just how it is. Th there, there will be, hanging out. I hope that Ash also comes around from a community, because he normally plays the uh, pit. Uh, he's normally the um, crew chief. So I'm really building on his knowledge about strategy. Why strategy? Um, I will show you why. So let's actually get into F1 Manager. You see, I'm, I'm now somewhere here. Hi, it's me. And uh, what are we doing? We are at the Miami GP, and it's a very, very special one. So normally this segment would need to start with... A uh, uh, gentleman uh, 20 years ago... Uh, <laughs> whoever knows that. Uh, press conference video from F1. Uh, it's not 20 years ago, though. It's just a bit ago. Kinda. Where I did the free practice, which was fine, besides that Magnussen decided to uh, to destroy one of my cars. That was a bit harsh. So uh, that was one chassis. And then we did uh, another free practice, free practice three, and he destroyed another car. So you might think that's a very bad start for weekend, and in terms of Haas Wallet, it was. 20 years ago, you were 24. No, it was a bit younger than that. 14, actually. So, um, yeah, um, two cars already gone, two chassis. Uh, both of them had to be produced on an emergency, so it cost me a lot of money in the game. And then we went into qualification, and Q Q1... As being one of the lower teams, and me coming from an old age of F1, I was like, oh, I'll be going out on track first, right? Like, like always. So I went out there with K-Mac, with Mick, and uh, we set times. And guess what? <laughs> it started raining afterwards. <laughs> so that was really convenient for me, because it started raining and people weren't beating our times, right? So at the end of the session, due to how long they waited... Uh, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton both got eliminated in Q1. So though, that opened up the door for um, a ton of opportunities for, for teams like us, right? For, for Haas, for a Haas power by overtake, basically. And uh, yeah, so I went into Q3 with my drivers while Hamilton and Verstappen are all the way in the back. And this is a special, right? Because that means Miami GP might give us the chance, right, to score points. So uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with where we are. Let's let's check the results once again. So you see that here. So uh, practice one, practice two, practice three, and then qualifying. There you go. Mick managed uh, at least <laughs> Q2. Uh, Kevin Magnussen managed, managed Q3 and even came fifth. Right, that, that was a big surprise, but it was again the weather kind of playing uh, into it because you can see the time, so we had been a lot slower in Q1. Um, and here you can find Max Verstappen, 
Lando Norris, Yuki Tsunoda, Nicholas Satifi, and Lewis Hamilton all being eliminated in Q1. So, uh, I guess no one is really surprised that Latifi was uh, eliminated. <laughs> a bit surprised that Lo Norris wasn't eliminated, and a huge surprise that it was Hamilton and Verstappen. So, uh, that's how I got into this remarkable position of 5th and 11th for my team. Sponsor-wise, um, we want to finish uh, 14th with one car or higher for our streak. Um, there's no chance race, race position that says 12th. Let's see if we can manage that. Reach Q3 with both cars. Yep, we failed on that again. But this is the first season, obviously, for like four hearts with me, right? Um, so they're, they're not doing that well yet. Let's see into strategies, guys, because we we have to get a word of warning. Uh... <laughs> okay, it's doing exactly the opposite. Uh, so I will keep with whatever Ashley's, Ashley says. I even have like proper stuff. You might not see that in the camera. I will try. Can you see that? Yeah, so I, I'm all good, guys. I'm all good. I'm set up. So, 5th and 11th, what do we do strategy-wise? So you see, there are two strategies with even three stops. I would say, since it's not the new patch, where tires are adjusted, we do two stops, right? At least I would say so. And with Mick, I tried three stops with him. To um, have the chance to to really go through it, you know, like and uh, par through it with um, with confidence and be more aggressive on the tires, but he's not really great at defending yet. So I would say we do two stops as well because it doesn't matter that they have the same strategy as let's be real here. Mick Schumacher in the middle of the race will probably be a bit further down. In case not, I will handle that somehow. Um. I haven't seen any race in my... I, me neither. Man, I saw the highlights of Miami. So what we could do is obviously we could start him on the on the hearts. And that as on the mediums. Do we want to do that? I think that would be fun, right? So we're just changing the compound. So we go hearts first. Medium second. And then we just move... Can we not just move the mediums before? I always thought I could just move them, but I can't. Okay. Let's let's say like this. Maybe more like this. That sounds good, I think. So uh, we will use that one. Hopefully, that's still the same. Okay, okay. Now we've got exactly the opposite. Car setup is untested. I'm quite sure about that one. Um, and then we got driver option. Obviously, let them go all out. In in the first lap, because we we want them to make up some positions, especially Magnussen, because I think he's he's looking good in fifth. And we need those points for Haas. We really need those points. So uh, let's hope we can somehow get that done. I would say everything here is fine. Uh, there's one issue though, since Magnussen killed two cars. In the previous free practice sessions, I don't have anything with me anymore to save this. Which means if they crash a front wing, so be it. We have to retire because we don't have front wings anymore. I think it's a fair assumption you will lose pace due to the rain causing faster cars out early on quality. Lose pace due to the rain causing... Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Hamilton and Verstappen will come from the back, right? We all know that. They will probably catch us at one point. But maybe... We can run away early enough. So I would say we're all good with this. It's all fine. Let's start the race. The drivers have now taken position on the grid. And it's looking like a cloudy day. Cloudy day in Miami. Looking at the hats. Always the case. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. There's the other hats. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. The other race, will first of all, it's Mick. Pay off today. And second, man, listen to me. The and other half of the it. grid, he's 11. The Miami Grand Prix. All right, and it's here we go. Out, and away we go. Let's see if Magnussen can do anything to stay either in the points or even better, actually move up the rankings so Mick is 
Uh, he was 10th, and he's now 11. Side by side here with Joe Guan Yu on the inside. And in the slipstream of Ocon. That could work for us, I think. Yep, it did. So 10th already for Mick. Magnussen is all right. He's right behind George Russell. Is that a new race position, I think we're totally fine with this. Let's see if Mick can maybe even catch Ocon. Crafty getting back with the word. <laughs> it could be. Magnussen uh, at least showing himself next to Russell. But not enough just yet. It's early in the race. In the next three minutes, there's a chance of 25% for it to rain. Job. You'll get back on it. Your pace was excellent. Mick. Oh, Mick is ninth. What happened there? Did he just get Ocon? Here's the replay. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Oh, you forced. <laughs> you forced Ocon to stop nearly. <laughs> Mick is like, and boom. There they go. Moving up a Here position. I am. <laughs> just incredible maneuvering. Rock you like a hurricane. Wow. Okay. That was a big moment. The team yep, that's that's delighted. obviously Jonas. After we shaved his head off for winning the championship with Haas. All right, Magnussen still behind Russell. Russell blocking and covering up the inside. Let's see if it's still enough on the out. There's no DRS on yet, but he's not doing it around the outside. Come on, K-Mac. Ah. All right, I think, I think we will. Great job on that. He's trying it again. I was really, I was really surprised. Mick already up to eighth. What's Mick doing? Mick, Mick just taking out people like it's nothing. This looks like Call of Duty Warzone by now. Look at him. Boom. Inside. Easy slot on behind uh, Bottas. Should be Valtteri Bottas. Yep. Gaining a position there. They make it look so easy. Boom. All right. So both cars are well within the points. Cheering them on. That is nice to see. I think we will cool down a bit now. Yep, yep, yep. We go neutral on both cars. We will also go standard on tires. We need to back off. But we will stay push on fuel, I think. What? What's, what's that? Mick! Oh, what are you off. doing? Let's take a look at the replay. We right, win three this. positions, and Mick well, goes wide, <laughs> pushing the out line. the Alpha Tauri like it's nothing. <laughs> oh, and that All was right. a bitter blow. Wow, <laughs> quite an event for Ray's already. Wow, so Schumacher's down to 12, which is harsh. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. Virtual safety car, which means we go conservative on absolutely everything. Okay. Okay, back off. Okay, copy. Is that just because we pushed? Because <laughs> we pushed out this one guy. The Alpha. Where's the other Alpha Tari? Was it Tsunoda? Oh no, that was Gasly. We killed Gasly. All right. Things happen. <laughs> Shuma, the killer. All right. There is. Magnuson still fifth, lost a bit of time there to George Russell, which is a problem because we have to handle that. It's like we will be under attack the entire time by Alonso, who's a great driver, obviously. But we will have enough fuel, and we will also be have enough ERS available to us. But so will so will everyone else. I assume. Not, not like they wouldn't do the same as we do. Oh, 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 oh. Why is it? Why is it lightning? No one knows. There isn't any more. Okay. It's not. I mean, you saw that, right? Alonso is basically part of my of my rear wing race control. Safety car and soon. So uh, we will obviously put everything up again. We will probably go. That's Schumacher. What's the gap from Schumacher? Two seconds. Yeah, we will go deploy immediately. And Magnussen. 
I think Magnuson has to deploy as well. Because we want to want to get him out of range for Alonso. And we need to get Magnuson obviously back into DRS range for Rush Russell. So we're not Yeah, because Alonso nearly we crashed into us. Now. Now watch this. Yeah, look Here's at that. Alonso's car. <laughs> what's he, what's he doing? Was he surprised at RT1? Oh, huh. didn't know that a corner was coming. The team are really disappointed with that. So we, we need to get everyone away. VRC ending. Okay, VRC ending. Okay, Brace, let's get back up. Brace with you. Uh, can you consume? Consumed. <laughs> Resumed. It also consumes me. Uh, okay. Mick needs to get away from battle now. And we are now well within a second here, which means we can go neutral again and we can stay pushed because we will probably get some tow from Russell's car. Schumacher is below a second now, so we go neutral as well, push it a bit. No more lifting coast. And try to get closer. <laughs> it's very confusing for me right now to play with it in, in this. Why is it always lagging? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Why is it? I'm not clicking on anything. It's absolutely smooth for me, but it isn't for the stream. At this one point of the track, I have to feel. Or is it every single time I switch a car? That is really awkward. Really awkward. So, Magnuson is back in. But it is lagging. Is it lagging for you guys? Tell me. Is it lagging? Or is that just my OBS? No, it, it is a bit lagging. Why is it though? What did we do that this starts lagging right now? Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I mean, we can... We can obviously turn down everything a tiny bit. See if that makes it better, but it could also be frame rate frame rate frame rate related <laughs> because even my webcam is lagging you know what you know what happens because i i had an obs update and i went for it you know what before show never go for an update just just don't i will shut everything down i can find in the background to see if it's that just in case. Obviously not the stream. <laughs> won't, shut, won't shut down the stream. But everything else I will kill. There we go. And I will also... I can't, can't kill this. I'm part of the Matrix. Yeah, kinda. Must be. It's like, otherwise this, this can't happen, right? Ne it never uh, ever in my life was lagging. And it's not lagging on my screen, it's only lagging in OBS. And I'm lagging in OBS, why? What is this magic? Yes, that was what you heard in the background. But it's also not that. What? Why is... Why is it lagging? CPU 2%. No drop frames. It just starts lagging. Why? I never had this issue. Why, why is it lagging? Why is it doing this to me? Okay, what if I also close this? Does that make it better? No. What's going on? We're in a great race. Stop lagging. Whatever you do, PC. Stop lagging. As in, like, for real. I... F <laughs> you know what it is? It starts lagging as soon as I click the F1 Manager 20 foot 20 window. I have to play it windowed, you might wonder now, because I'm running a wide screen. So, for this to work on the stream, I had to go down to window. And look at me, I'm all good. And as soon as I click the window, it starts lagging. Interesting, isn't it? So what if we go... I don't know. Full screen. 
Does that fix the issue? It doesn't. Huh. That is really weird. Let's V-Sync it. See if that changes anything. Oh! Now it works. That's it? Off we go then, I would say. Uh, it's a bit stretched for me on the screen, but never mind. It looks good for you guys. <laughs> My house car is now so wide. It's basically what I want every single time we're leading. Never, uh, every single time we're leading, so never. Uh, <laughs> all right, we got every everyone going. Magnuson is in a the, in the great position. Can he take down Russell? If he can, there's a chance to immediately get into Paris. Uh, territory, as in like DRS, which is what we have to achieve, right? While Schumacher could definitely take down uh, Stroll. Yeah, got very thick pass. Don't you fuck smash my graphics card. <laughs> Alright, so one of you guys has to do it now. We don't have that much DRS. One of you guys has to go for it. Maybe Magnuson around the outside. Not gonna happen. All right, should we? On the inside, he knows that the inside is for overtaking. Magnuson seems to have basically forgotten about that. Is it enough? 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 Will it be enough? Man, go for it. Deploy. Nah. Instead, he got cut off. Good job, man. Good job. All right, we failed on Russell as well. And Aston Schumacher Martin definitely failed. Yeah. They've moved up a place. That's a bit sad. Okay, today. Um, we still run good with terms of fuel because... Yeah, it's like AI decided that was too crazy. I want Schumacher back into the points. But I also want to make sure that... Magnussen... Although I don't have to get Magnussen by... Russell. Because we could stay there for a while. Probably Paris runs away now. It's like Paris was one second when I started overtaking Russell. Let's see what kind of tires there are. They all on hard. Interesting. Besides Leclerc. Yeah, and I obviously can't really play the strength of the tire because I can't make a bite. Go for it, Schumacher. You kind of have to. We need this. Because you have been eight before you decided to be a moron. Inside now! Go inside! I do not believe. Ah, he won't make it. He won't make it. The RS is not even open yet. So let's go neutral. Wait until DRS opens. And then we try. DRS is enabled. DRS All right. is enabled. DRS is enabled. So we just need to get our beautiful man Magnuson to flip the switch and take down Russell. And he will. Come on, K-Mac. Got a lot riding on this. Teen Haas will not be happy if we don't turn this into multiple points. Same for you, by the way, Mick. Racing for your contract here. Those have one cars look pretty good white. Like in full HD, you have no white screen, ultra white. Go for it! On the inside this time, just like Mick does it. Now cut him off! Cut! Go, go, go. And 
And then all of a sudden Alonso's back on it. That's the problem. Like Alonso's immediately there. Oh god. And th that's Hamilton already. Man. <laughs> Mick, we have to do something because that's Hamilton behind you. That was way too quick that it is Hamilton. You have to do something about this. He had to break, so... Oh, oh. I fear that Alonso will be the one going through at one point. Fine, stay there, kids. Mick managed to get past Stroll. And so did Hamilton. Can Stroll stay in front of Hamilton? That will be awesome. He well done, Kev. No, he can't. Let's quickly Let's look, the brief, oh, look up the replay again. Now just focus okay, on that was hands. just DRS. Hamilton obviously with DRS. Max was stopping in the background. That was easy. Alright. Now he needs to get away. Oh, Stroll managed. You know what? No, no, that's Max. I would love to deploy it a bit. And just run away. But probably we'll get that done anyway. Because they will be fighting. Magnuson passed Russell. Kind of missed that. Why is there no picture in picture or split screen for this game? Especially on ultra wide. That would be amazing. Wow. Russell was quick. And Alonso gets immediately in between. No way. It's a race position Oof. gained. From Mercedes. All right. So Magnussen's back in. And we definitely want to overtake Russell this time. Because, oh, no one got DRS. Oh, we got DRS. Okay, okay. Come on, K-Mac. You got this. Oh, up the inside he goes. That should be enough. That should... That's not enough. Man, that Mercedes is quick. Uh, Mick got away, by the way, from Hamilton and Stroll. There's Hamilton. Let's watch this from Hamilton's perspective. Onto Mick. So that in front is Mick. Track is still dry. One minute we got 40% chance of rain. Does he have to defend? No, Stroll's definitely too far away. Okay, okay. Wasn't sure if he has to defend. Okay, Mick, um, Mick can now just start trying to get lap times in, basically. Magnuson has to find a way around Russell. That's for sure. Real talk, Haas livery this year is so good. It is. I like the Haas livery. I think it looks really, really good. And k Mac at it again on the inside. Can he make it stick this time around? No. It is once again Russell that cuts for yeah. There we go. <sighs> which always opens me up for Alonso the part of this battle, which I don't like. Uh, Hamilton will definitely take down me. Let's be real here. I mean, we can put it on defend. Can, should we? Re nah, we, we're not wasting our DRS on defend. How Polish it looks. <laughs> Mega job, mate. Magnussen won a position, it seems. Once again, yeah, but how do we get away from, How do we get away from Russell? He's just so quick. Stay up front. Stay up front, man. You can do this. Up, up, up. Yep, we did it. Good job. Nice. All right. The dog's a bit on. Try to do some lifting. Copy. I mean, he will. He will definitely be. Catch I love. By the way, I love the original sounds, like the voices. He will definitely be catched by Hamilton. But the nice thing could be to slot in behind Hamilton and just follow him to get back on Ricardo. He's one and a half seconds away. to break away. 
from Russell. Schumacher now with Hamilton. There's no chance for it. Yep. Cars are not pushing. Just stay with Hamilton. Man, stay with Hamilton. Not it's a race position gained for Mercedes. What do you mean? It's caught off guard. All right, we, we have to stay with Hamilton. We get DRS off Hamilton, which obviously is amazing. For Stappen, by the way, not able to overtake Tsunoda. It's a very interesting thing. Tire-wise, we're looking good. A bit better on Max. We're not. Can we get away from Russell? That's the big question. Good thing is Hamilton got us onto onto Ricardo. It's like the best thing that could have happened. Catching with the house cars. But isn't it he is catching up to? I, I was talking about the near future. Now I'm confused. That's all right. Uh, yep, K-Mac is still under pressure. Under a lot of pressure, actually. And Schumacher lost contact to Hamilton, but as long as I get DRS, that's basically perfect because he will always get me back onto Ricardo. And now I'm with Ricardo. Catch isn't. Ah, catching up. Thank you. Can Schumacher make a move this time around? Does he get DRS and... Nah, I was thinking if um, Ricardo doesn't get DRS, that would have been a chance. And somehow I have to get Alonso finally making a move on Russell, so Russell gets off my back, but so there's just no chance. They will fight forever, and Paris will just run away. It's nearly four seconds on you. But I see. I think this is the biggest chance now here to get to get Ricardo. No lifting coast. Because we're in a great spot right now. Because I can't make it happen. Look at it. It's still mess up. <laughs> okay, Schumacher, you are, you're two spots away from being in the points again. I mean, one of that spots is, is Hamilton, so forget about that one. But try to get Ricardo. To like, Ricardo will drop out of DRS soon, I hope. It's half a second to. Uh, yep, yeah, Mick nearly crashed into Ricardo. And now for Stutton's comments. <laughs> okay, the easier for us there. I won't get away from Russell here because they, they just catch up with DIS every single time. I got the uh, the worst car in this group. They opened the door so wide. And then he's through. Too bad. All right. Schumacher still half a second in with Ricardo. Yep, that's the important bit. Up a place. Oh, no, no, no. K-Mac, K-Mac, K-Mac. No, Alonso. Russell is fine. Not Alonso, though. You have to stay up front. Good boy. Punctuation job. Is it, is it the mistake behind it with a smiley? We're in lap uh, number 12. Still no rain. 40% 40, 40 of chance. Well, I think it won't be raining. 40 is still very low, isn't it? Comma D. Oh, no! <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. No, Magnussen! You idiot! Don't you fuck smash my front wing! Uh, 
spot, okay, Kev? Yeah, my bad. That's it. We don't have a front wing for him. That's it. Magnuson. No replacement. I see an idiot. Yellow. Copy. This is it. He is an idiot. Three cars on my MEGP he destroyed. Three! Two chassis and now a front wing. Oh, yeah, Magnus can retire because that, that, that is done. We don't have a front wing. I mean, oh, still has a front wing, though. Minor damage to the front wing. Yeah, never mind then. Man, you're still, still in. You're just 18. All of a sudden, it seems like no points were <laughs> hard. I need to somehow get Ricardo. But there's Hamilton behind. Doesn't make it a lot easier, does it? This dude. Bye bye, Luca. Thanks for coming coming by. Thanks for stopping by. There's Verstappen. We'll probably go for it now. Yeah, not much I can do. Mick against the reigning champion. That is Verstappen. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Okay, mate, you basically have to go through when Verstappen is going through. Red Bull gained the place. Magnussen could obviously try to close the gap to Vettel. Because they are all with a pack, and he's right behind there. So how about deploying and just catching up? Because we need this. We need their um, DRS zone. It's like we somehow have to get into the DRS zone. That's the important bit. I mean, Magnuson will probably get into the DRS zone. I think he can do it. I think there's a chance. Petal is still with Gasly, so. But why is Mick now losing out so much here? He's still in DRS zone, which is the important bit. Yep, there's DRS. Off we go. There's Verstappen against Ricardo. Oh. Yeah. Still pissed at <laughs> Matt Wilson, though. Three crashes in one weekend. That's a, that's that's a lot. Okay. okay, Mick. Time for you to get. You can't. With all the DRS, there's no chance for you to take down Ricardo. Okay, are we in the DRS zone? We are with K-Mac. Amazing. So we quickly put on Harvest. Charge on. Copy that. And try to hang in there. Just in the DRS. If we can hang on to DRS. No, we can't. Not with Harvest. Okay. Mess that one up. Charge on. But as long as, long as they are still that. fighting, we will always get back into DRS zone, which is the important bit, right? Like catching up to, uh, to Vettel. And Mick basically has to wait for Hamilton and Ricardo to get away. But it's like Ricardo, Hamilton? Verstappen already got Hamilton. And there's one you. Okay. So they catch up to 8th. And if I could just hang on there in, in the... Uh, in the DRS zone, that works out for me, right? 
Magnus now on Fetter. That's also good to see. And to be honest, I could probably with MSC try now to at least get one harvest in. Charge Just on. stay with Ricardo due to DRS. And then try to harvest a bit of energy here and there. To set up for for an attack. Oh wait, that was Magnus again. Charge off. Copy. <laughs> so confused now with humans are being first. Charge on. Copy. Yeah, take the charge. Try to get the car up. Magnus is still hanging in there. That's good. Shumaka can harvest as long as we're not dropping out of DRS zone. That's kind of what we're doing here. Same for Magnuson, by the way. Charge on, please. Copy that. So we try now using the DRS zone that we got from the cars in front of us to set ourselves up for another attack. Because at one point, we want to take down Ricardo. And we will. I mean, look at that. Magnuson is harvesting and he's right behind Fetter. That's looking good. Maybe we can even get it up to 100% again. So Mika's fallen behind here, right? Because even with DRS, we're missing a bit of the speed on the straight. But since they're all still fighting, as, as soon as we get to the hairpin, it should be all good. Charge off. <laughs> Couldn't charge more than that anyway. Totally forgot about that. We could try another lap though. Oh, oh, Mick was out of DRS zone. That's not what we were planning. Hopefully we can get back in again. Otherwise they run away. Uh, look out for that. Ghastly in the pits. Okay, Magnuson still hanging in there. Looking good. Okay, we have to push a bit. We will go to high fuel now. We have to deploy just to get back in. Oh, that was a little mistake done on me. That wasn't good. Because we are out of DRS now. So every single time we get into DRS zone, he's running away. Come on, Mick. Back into DRS. We need to get back into DRS zone. Okay, good job, Kev. That's one. Is that a new race position? And uh, we're back in. Okay. Let's Here's see the, the replay. replay. Now just focus on the Hass. Oh, without DRS around the outside. Nicely done, K Mac. Schumacher wasn't in the air zone. Range in during the DS zone. Hmm. Messed that one up. Come on, man. One and a half, uh, 1.4 seconds way too much now. Ricardo's still behind Hamilton. Still a big chance, but... For that, we need to be quicker than this now. Magnuson gets away from Fettel anyway, but it has 1.8 seconds to stroll, okay. Mick is still struggling to get back within the second. He's not getting it done. This is it. 
dropped out of it due to me trying to harvest. You know, I'll pay for it. Just not getting into the DRS zone. And I'm drained the battery now. Out of DRS. Man! Okay, more lifting coast, please. Okay, Magnus, and we Copy. need for you to get into DRS zone. From a scroll. So let's go for it. Mode push. Copy that. MSC is completely losing out on it. Schumacher can't stick with Ricardo. As long as Ricardo is still in DRS range for Hamilton. Ah. Just because we were a bit tap too long on harvest. Magnuson's now within for stroll, which might give us a chance to harvest some energy for him. Shouldn't have a lot close to Ricardo. Ricardo now out of the DRS zone, is he? Yes, he is. All right, Mick. The fight is on. Oh, no, he isn't. No, oh, I thought he was out of the DRS. But well, he isn't. Not yet, though. We'll be, we'll be soon. Let's harvest a bit behind Charge on. those two. Copy that. Ricardo is finally out of the RS range. But that won't help massively. I'm really surprised that we threw away points as easy as that. Mick with a mistake sitting in position 8. Magnus with a mistake sitting in position 5. And now we find ourselves struggling here to even get back. Harvest a bit more. I'm going to harvest the entire thingy again. to get my back Magnuson on some proper grounds here. And then just go for it, man. Take down Stroll, take down Norris. Shoot a pit window for Magnuson, though. Safety car deployed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Positive on the Delta. Safety car deployed. Do we come in now or not? What lap are we in? Twenty one. Three stop strategy. Staying out with Mick. Because he sits on hard. Wait. Ashley! Help me out here. What do we do? I mean, we can definitely bring in Magnuson, but 
Stephen Hill is like two laps out of the window. Hmm. Where, where are we? So we just passed the pits. How close are we to firing both drivers at this point? I mean, K-Mac is really hard working on that one. Could K-Mac still go into pits? No, he couldn't. Okay, so we basically could wait now anyway. On both, right? And just see what the others are doing, right? Because we want to know now if other drivers are pitting or not. So Leclerc will be the first one to have a chance to pit. Who crashed them? I think Verstappen is out. Let's have a look. What? Now here we see Max Verstappen. After he took down Alonso. Oh! Crash there. <laughs> All right. Happens. The team are devastated. They'll be. It's uh, the uh, is Leclerc moment basically. So Norris runs for pit. Will the clerk come in or not? So Norris did, right? Yeah. The clerk comes around. What what tires like this is he sitting on? Hearts oh, anyway. He's coming in. If we stay out now. I mean, they're all on hearts, right? Which means they all have to come in once more. I see it correctly, right? So whatever he switches to now... ...needs to be a tire he's switching to again. As in, like, he could go mediums now... ...to at least uh, fulfill the regulations. But he won't make it till the end, will he? No. Let's see what they're pitting for. The clerk that gets hard again. Sign stays out. Paris stays out. Russell. They all stay out. Kevin Mack does not be who sits on the tire. That would be the next in line to switch. How about go full Ferrari and double stop them? But we want to, we want to do b better than that. I mean, we're the team of the legend Gunter Steiner. We need to come up with a very cool way now of getting both cars into the point. So the clerk stopped for hearts again because he could without losing track position. Everyone else didn't. Bottas won't. Ocon. Ocon goes for it. Interesting. Ocon goes. Guan Yu goes. Bottas didn't, yeah. Hamil Hamilton doesn't.
it's too early. That's the big problem now. It's too early to run a car till the end. As in, like, Magnuson, get Magnuson on softs, trying to get him back and then stop when everyone else has to stop again. Like the idea. Get him into... Stop on softs. And then try that. And we, we stay out with Schumacher and just try to go for the... Why is she... Oh, Schumacher is so bad on the tire. Because he obviously had this first incident where he was late, uh, where he was too harsh on the brakes. We're missing like 4-5%. to On Hamilton we miss only 2%, but still, Hamilton had to go through this entire group. Schumacher's way too early, like what, what do we want to do here? It's like there's not much we can do, I think. So we, let, let, we let him out Fox. and bring Fox. Kevin in. Copy bucks. For soft. Three stop, uh, two stop strategy now on Magnuson. And Schumacher's running the stand up one again. Not quite sure if that works out, but let's see. Off he goes. Just come out last. Actually, it doesn't. Okay. And he will get back onto Norris. He just lost a few positions, but not much. So he will be fine. Let's see how, how long they will last now. One stop hard to medium, yes, which is what Schumacher is on. But Magnussen now is on a two stop strategy, right? He's on he's on brand new softs. Schumacher just has to survive somehow on these tires. <coughs> so they are behind the safety car. Which is actually far away. <laughs> Or everyone else. <laughs> I mean, look, the two Williams, the two, two blue dots. <laughs> they just crossed the line while everyone else is already waiting behind the safety car. Everyone is roughly doing what Mick is doing. Yes. They all on that strategy. The only one who isn't is, is Matt. Is it? Yeah, but we really have to use those softs, right? I mean, what do they have? They're 50%. There's not much left. We could we could really try to get him hard on those tires. Let him really run hard on them. As soon as the race starts, go aggressive. Try to overtake. Because they will... Like, Norris won't pit, right? Look at that. Norris. Fresh set of hearts. But all these guys will pit. No, no, these, these two, two ones. So Mick is back with the safety car. Safety car is still lighting up. By the way, I'm wearing it. Overtake shirt, you can't see that. But look. Now I've got shirts and hoodies. Ooh, ooh. Uh, all right. Where do we have Schumacher is with everyone? Missing is Mattinson. Still a bit behind. Will he really theme merge when? Yeah. Don't know. Is there is there a legend legendary moment of me in, on camera already with something I said similar to Fox Smash that door? Then we can have like a like a safety car is in this lap. In this lap, which Copy. means we will wait. My, in this lap, okay. Do we already warm up tires? Normally would get going, right? I think we just Magnuson should be able to close up. The <laughs> Gasly will close up. Alba and Latifi have no chance, do they? 
they won't make it. So overtake is available if you need it. Oh, look at all of them. Magnuson! Get back to them. <laughs> oh, but Latifi. <laughs> On their own. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's just incredible. And slot it. Boom. Whoop, whoop. Don't kill Norris. Okay, guys, remember no overtaking until the timing line. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Overtake. Overtake. Push. Push. You know what, Magnuson? Be aggressive on him. That's what we need from you now. We need to go to go, to eat through this. This is very interesting what's happening here now. <laughs> Everyone's stacking up. Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, Mac is co uh, completely lost out on it. Schumacher is fine, but Magnus is gone. Would have been fun if it starts raining now. Like right after everyone was pitting. I think Magnuson already did one. Yep. You're doing a good job. Schumacher could take down Ricardo now. Pass with an overtake. Let's take a look at the replay. Again. All eyes on Kevin Magnuson here. Okay, that was an easy one. Morris is sleeping, basically. Okay. I think Schumacher can be... Could be a bit aggressive on the tyres, because we save tyres a lot. To be honest. It's not really helping, right? As long as we're not... Getting anywhere with it. Magnuson around the outside, maybe. Nope, but Morris on the inside. Yeah. Great. Maybe not. Oh, we're getting blocked by Stroll. Wow. <laughs> wow. Blocked by Lad Stroll. Wow. That was harsh. I can say that. Gain a position. Yeah. Okay, Mick. Mick and Mick. Do something. I don't know what yet, but do something. Do something cool. Maybe not crash like last time. That would be good. Nice work, Kev. Okay, so what can we do? Cap is through, isn't he? Again, okay. And he, he needs to move up. It's like, his tyres are now... That's the, the, they are what we need. We, we won't make it until we end with them anyway. So... Come on, Cap, you can do this. You got me. Come on, Cap, you can do this. Maybe not around the outside, man. We tried that a few times. Ooh! It's lane change afterwards. No, no, that won't work. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Talk you, man. Okay, Magnus is through. It's gonna be useful for now. Keep pushing, though. With an overtake because there. we have to catch up to Fettel, and then we have to take down Fettel immediately. Mick is trying on Ricardo. Not gonna happen though. Oh, is it? <laughs> Super late on the brakes. DRS enabled. Oh, and he makes it. Incredible. Really good. That was really good, Mick. Yeah, we bring Magnuson whenever those tires are done. Whenever they're shot. Then we go for it. Unfortunately, it's two seconds. For Mick. To catch up to Bottas. Would be something we obviously want to achieve. Magnuson is already with Petal. Petal. 
Mick won't be able to close the gap to Bottas. We've got half a second in front of the other side. So what we could do is try to deploy and get out of this. It's very unlikely, isn't it? Good job, away. Kev. Okay, Kev got another one. Not quite sure if we'll make it to 34. Uh, 37, 38, by the way. With going on at these tyres at this rate. But Magnus obviously has to catch up. That's who it is. We won't get away from this DRS train, though. That's what I feel. Wait, wait, they, they all come in. What? Okay. Now they're all confusing me. What happened? Did they all switch to a three stop strategy now? Make a second. They switched to mediums now. Let's just put our but that's down. way too early for mediums, isn't it? Yeah, this is way too early for mediums. <laughs> he strats for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> they all have to stop again or they will all have to face the simple fact that they will really babysit the tires I mean that's what that's what will happen Race too much for me. Three wide. K back. Does he do it? K Mac, the legend who crashed job, three times on one weekend and then decided to make it three times, three wide, double overtake. Wow. Moved up the field. <coughs> Can we, we see can that again? Now. All eyes on Look at this. Look at that. Boom. I mean, they all survived. Kind of happy about that one. But K Mag just went through. They've gained multiple positions. It's looking good. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're back in. We're back in the game. On and clearly loving that. Maybe everyone else just went crazy, and all of a sudden, we can we can score again. <coughs> wow. Okay. Mick is second. It's very confusing to me. And would love to keep him out of this second. Wait, that's K Mac! Oh no, no, K Mac is allowed to get into. into zone, but. problem is that the other two are still hanging in there. Huh. Do we not to pay Paul, everyone? It must be. I mean, why, why did they all. did they all stop. They all stopped for mediums. <sighs> why? Tell me. Tell me why? Because this will be ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Guys, for real. You, you can't... Wait, 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 wait. We need to tell Schumacher to let this guy through. Because K-Mag is on a quicker tire. Kmac basically has to now floor it. Problem is Schumacher dropped out of DRS range again. Okay, Kmac, can we harvest real quick? 
charge on. Because we have to get we have to get your teammate back into DRS. Otherwise, you might pay hard for this. On the other hand, I want you to run out uh, to keep running. Charge off. Keep running, man. Copy. Okay. This uh, changed everything, kind of. I mean, Mick is third. Magnus is second. Verstappen is out. Mick is really bad defending, so he has no chance. He will have no chance, but it's fine. He can he can sit now behind Guan Yu, Guan Yu, maybe, and just sit sit in his um, slipstream. And Magnussen, thanks, baby. You just keep on pushing. I would say. You you just do you without the crushing, though. So. Minus the crushing. We we can't afford any more than that. You already damaged another front wing, which we don't have. And, uh, yeah, as you know already, we gave you two new chassis. So how about, um, you not disappointing us again? That would be really appreciated. Huh. Schumacher could probably harvest some energy in between here. It's not worth it, because it's, like... We already charged so much during a lap. So Magnuson is going at it. We should probably not told Schumacher to let his teammate pass because Magnuson would probably have done it anyway. And due to that, we lost the other position. That's a bit sad, but at least we get DRS every time. Yeah, k -Mac after crashing and falling back, getting a podium. And Mick still getting points after also crashing. I mean, he basically pushed out Gasly, right? Which is why Gasly is now... Oh, I mean, seventh again, so he's all good. Chris? Yeah. But yeah, it's like, they're, they're, we did a lot of things this time. Hey, k -Mac, keep, keep going, man. Mick has to stay with Guan Yu. Yeah. And get rid of Ocon, which will be hard though. Magnus obviously has no chance to catch up to Leclerc. It's like 15 seconds ahead. Huh. It's quite a game changer now. Pit window for Schumacher. I would say we still keep going a bit. Tiny bit. And then we. Oh, the guys around us have moved by. But they will all have to come in in the end. Absolutely sure about that. Ocon went for new ties. When you went for new ties. You do what, Ashley? Put Mac on yellow pace. And you want to see. If he's still quicker than, than position 3 or what? If he still gets quicker than Guan Yu? What do you mean? But I want him to be as quick as possible right now. Because we will have to pit. And as you can see. We will pit lap. This 31. 32, 3, 4. Hopefully with Schumacher. And then he will make it till the end. Probably the tire of Magnussen will last a tad longer. You think so? Okay, then we'll go stand then. And see what happens. Mick is struggling a bit there in the group with one you. It's never attacking one you, he's always defending against Oppo. But the others are all, they all have to come in on mediums, right? I mean, they switched mediums before 30. How, how do they make that work? <clears throat> it just won't. There's no chance that that works. 
it's quite interesting that ha uh, it's quite interesting to see that Magnus is still is he gaming a bit. Maybe, but he got minor front wing damage. As long as Mick is just hanging in here with Kuan Yu, which makes him a lot quicker. They might pit for softs with around 10 laps left. Yes, but they still have to come in. So as long as I somehow keep pace with them, <sighs> there's a chance to, to get points, right? I mean, I will keep Schumacher out as long as possible now because we could, we could even go light with him, maybe. Try to... We need a back off. Stay out as long as possible while hanging in, in this group. Because that's all we need, right? We stay with this group, get DRS every single time. Like we've gone you. Trying to force him into a mistake. Gone you is definitely losing time to Magnuson due to that. But Magnuson is losing a ton of time all of a sudden to Leclerc. I mean, look at that. Leclerc is really going at it. Yeah, Magnuson is extending the gap, but Magnuson also losing on Leclerc massively. But there isn't really, isn't really the fight anyway. Mick? My man. That was close. That cost him a lot of time. Still got DRS. That's good. And we can still extend the tire. Probably another lap. Maxon's tire is still fine. P2 should be our goal. I'm not quite sure if we can make that, to be honest. I mean, both Haas and the points, that will be the big thing, obviously. <sighs> Question is, can we make it? I mean, Ocon is definitely currently using his tyres behind us, which is good, right? We are kind of just extending our run while he's really going for it. Cannot this 10 behind Russell? Really interesting how all of this played out. So we have to get Mac back, um, uh, Mick back on standards because he's okay, Mick, losing out now our head down. on uh, Guan Yu. Oh, he's out of DRS! I don't have a second soft, uh, set of soft. We can't do that. We we don't have we don't have that set available to us. Okay, Schumacher lost out on one you. Okay, we we're bringing him in. Copy that. And he will switch to mediums for Mick. With that, he will end this. Which means for now, he can at least go aggressive on them. So he will come in now. Mick will go in and Magnuson stay out, stays out as long as his softs are still working. Because he's still gaining on one U. We will lose the battle now to Ocon. But he will also have to pit at one point again. Oh, wow. 
Mode push. Smash mode push. Okay, Magnus is still there. I'm really sad that we dropped out of uh, of the stream. This will be problematic now. Mick, you lost so much time for the yes, pit entry now, it's idea. unbelievable, man. And white line, white line. Second time that Mick was basically standing on the track today. It's kind of his thing, I got the feeling. Back off. Okay, Mick came out. 15. Magnuson will not make it. Magnuson will make it another lap. He will start losing the race. Should we just sw swap them both now on the same strategy? Bring them home on mediums. He's still gaining on Guan Yu. If I see that correctly. So that's all good. Shumaka dropped behind Tsunoda. It's quite a long way, unfortunately, to, to Tsunoda. Maybe go for a deploy a bit and just try to catch them. He is still gaming. So we'll bring him in now. 36th lap. And there's no medium set for him available. There's a 19 lap soft set available. Oh man. No mediums. No softs. So hard is the only way to go. But the hearts, we could... Yeah, but we can go hearts and then let them push on them, obviously. Box. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy. 2.9 seconds for MSC compared to Sinoda. Sinoda obviously has no DRS from Ricciardo. Okay, K Mac has a 5.5 gap. Please drop in now. Come on, Magnuson. Keep pushing. Come on, Kev, keep pushing. Gubby. I wonder if Mick has a chance to catch up to Sonoda. and comes into the pits. And then afterwards on the hearts, we just keep him on orange <coughs> and let him go. There's Lockon coming by, Paris going by, yep, the entire group there. Don't mess it up, boys. Put those tires on, let him go. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's in front of Alonso. 10th for Max. Not even outside the point. Nice. I'm 
unfortunately right there with the group. We should be able to use orange the entire time. Mick is gaining on Sonoda. The last lap. Yep. Okay, point, point 0.3 basically. That's nice. If we catch up to, to Sonoda, that would be perfect. What else do we need? Matheson has to fight here. Oh, that was horrible. Yep. That was really bad for us. Really bad. We dropped out of DRS. We can't drop out of DRS because it's way too dangerous then. Alonso will just run away. And bot us will kill us, basically. Let's see Ty. So Leclerc will come in. When you will come in. Paris will come in. And they will all come in in front of me. They all have to. It's just, it's just Mick and me that could make it. Sorry about the spit. Sorry? What? Yeah, good. Okay, understood. What do you mean by spin? They've lost control and spun! Let's see what happened there. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. And this, yes, this is where they spun out. Mick. Mick, like, let, let's talk to each other here. There's absolutely no reason to spin out. None at all. You just have to drive the car. And bring it back home because everyone in front of you will pit again. Everyone will pit again. We have to employ Chapman Joel at one point, yeah, because. I mean, we start at 5th and 11. And Mick spun twice now. And Kevin, as I said, crashed three times. Not in this race, though, but he crashed once in the race. Mick spun twice in this race. What are we supposed to do? Like, for real. What are we supposed to do? We were, like, two seconds to Tsunoda, and now it's five again. Magnussen is struggling with Alonso. <sighs> He sits on mediums, but his mediums will wear out too. We could just chill behind him because nothing will happen. Hmm. Schumacher now has to fight back to actually get to Tsunoda. Tsunoda would have been very important, obviously. Paris DRS train. Yeah. And that goes until... Until Hamilton. Basically. Okay, good job, Kev. That's one. Which makes it very hard for us. Okay, I will go back to aggressive now. Pass with an overtake! Kev, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Go with that. Hoping that he might get away. Which sounds a bit too good to be true. Probably not getting away from Alonso, who's a great driver. <sighs> but we can't close the 10 second gap, can we? But that's still less than a... That might be a chance still to get Paris and everyone else when they are pitting. The tyre just has to hold. I think for now we can speed up a bit. Oh no, we have the last 17 laps. Never mind. Let's, let's watch the time. Can we really turn this 
into a double point score for Haas. Stroll is already pitted. Magnussen once again will take in by Alonso. So let's not push any harder than that. That's we will stay with them anyway. Problem is, it's a bit more than a stop now. I fear. From Magnussen. At least for MSC, that's for sure, after his remarkable spin. Hamilton is in. Hamilton is in the pits. Everyone else get, gets ready for pitting. Everyone else gets ready. Even better if they're not pitting all at the same time because then I can still get DRS from Alonso. One day they will kill each other. Nice work, Kev. Okay, Hamilton is fallen behind MSC. Pass with an overtake there. No. Right between us and Tsunoda. Okay. Hamilton came from the front train, right? So there's still a chance. Hamilton was right in front of Magnuson. Right in front of him. So there might be a chance here that we make it back into the top ten. Look how quicker, how, how much quicker the uh, Alpine is. They can overtake us on the straight Alpine before the <laughs> before the brakes are. <coughs> and as long as Magnussen does not have a a clear track. There's no use in trying to waste anything. Okay, Paris in the pits now. KMEC should go through. If KMEC is through on Paris, that's a chance for a second position for Haas. Paris comes out. Magnussen is through. Wow. Harrison dropped before Tsunoda. Right in front of Tsunoda. <coughs> Which means... Guan Yu. Hey, Heal and Tony. <laughs> Alright, man? I mean, if... If Magnussen can be pulled now by Alonso the entire time... Because Alonso will come in soon as well, right? Mm. Yeah, probably. And then we have to give it everything on the tyre. Really, absolutely everything. We might be able to go light on the tyre a bit. One lap. To make it even easier for us. <laughs> I do my best. But my, my drivers are really hard. We started 5th and 11th. And we had been 4th and 8th. And then first Mick spun the first time. Then uh, Magnussen crashed into a wall. Which was his third crash on this Miami weekend. And that... Oh. Everyone else went in. Wait, wait, wait. Magnussen is on his own. So Magnussen... This is it now. Go for it. Counting on you. Uh, and uh, yeah, and now we have to try to come back over strategy Check at the supermarket. No <laughs> so yeah, man. Got it. Get yourself everything you need. So, will Mick make it back into the top 10? No. But there's still some people that didn't pit yet. Okay. okay. So Mick might be able to double, like to get us points for everyone. Kind of. It's 
so Magnuson now has to to give it everything to to get Ocon and everyone. <coughs> Especially to build a gap now, because now no one is around him. I wonder if we should deploy. Mode push. Go for that. We need to be a bit quicker, but I'm not so sure yet, because Paris is right behind already, and Paris will be an issue. He's on a brand new set of, on, of mediums, but he will be quicker. I think it's only 1.6 seconds, 7 seconds away from science. Okay. Is there any chance to get Nick? Uh, he, he, will, he will have no chance to get within DRS range. Alonso dropped behind. That's the interesting part. love to get Mick into the DRS window for Russell and Sainz, but it's not going to happen. Problem is, Magnus now has no one to get DRS from. And Paris is still there. And we still have the minor damage on the front wing of the Haas. Make us looking good. Gasly now coming in. Okay, there's Gasly. Gasly will make it before Mick comes in. Will he? Where's Mick? Oh, that was Russell. So right in front of Mick again. One more, one more position to get into the points. But everyone slots in here. Gasly even got the four signs in Russell. They all get a DRS train. Whew. One you still with the group of Ocon and Norris. Well, they all have to get tires at one point. Yes, they do. <coughs> they will probably all go in together, to be honest. So, Gasly's. Oh, okay. I was still fighting with Russell, alright. Oh, we're not getting. making any DRS window to get him to catch up. Still no rain, 40%. No rain. Now rain coming in would be hilarious. Magnus is trying his best to stay somehow out of... Uh, uh, like, out of in the way of... Uh, Paris, <clears throat> which isn't easy, and MSC has no chance to keep up with those guys with Russell, Russell and Gasly. So it will be on these three. If one of those three drops behind Mick, that's the chance then. Can we really bring a three-stop Magnussen into the points or maybe even on the podium? That would be crazy.
Oh, it's a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Leclerc looks looks good right now. We'll probably bring this home. It's definitely looking good for him. Still waiting if Ocon, Guan Yu and all that, if they come into the pit soon. They have to before the race ends. Can't tell me they make it. That would be crazy. <coughs> Paris gaining on Magnussen. Not, not a good look either. Yeah, all of these guys obviously catching up because they all got DRS going for them. Alonso not closing the gap to Mick. Yeah, um, Stefan, crazy things happened. Really crazy things. So first of all, in Q1, it started raining after the first two and a half laps, which meant Hamilton and Verstappen both uh, eliminated in Q1, which brought um, uh, K-Mac into Q3, position five, and Mick on 11. Then we started the race, like I said, K-Mac up to fourth, uh, Mick up to eighth. That was amazing. Then Mick did a first mistake and pushed out uh, Gasly. Gasly mm, crashed, uh, like a bit just, and Mick lost his off position, so he went back to 12. And then K-Mac decided for a third time on this Miami weekend to smash the car into a wall. So he has minor, he has minor damage on the front wing because I don't have any other front wings. Uh, because we're out of front wings. So, yeah, he's still out there with damage. We then there was a virtual safety car for what happened on Schumacher. And then we got a real safety car for what happened with Verstappen when he smashed it. So in that real safety car, we pitted Magnussen, but let M Mick stay out. And Magnussen on the three stop strategy due to this now, as you can see in this weird thing now, because everything changed. So we quickly put him on softs to get all the positions back he lost due to pitting on track. We should have pitted earlier to be honest because then he would have lost less. Um, but never mind. <coughs> and then we're hoping now because all of a sudden after the safety car, two laps later, most of our opponents pitted again. So we hope that they all have to pit before the end of the race. Which currently doesn't look like. Which is confusing me a tiny bit. So I wonder if we put K-Mac now on aggressive. And yeah, Mick probably won't get a position anymore unless Norris, Ocon and Wanyu actually come into the pits. That's the, that's the problem here. I'm see, it's just losing, keep on losing out, losing out, losing out. I think we can be a bit more aggressive the last seven laps on Magnussen's tyres. They are still fight, they are still out there fighting. And they're not swapping their tyres. They will make it till the end, that's the big problem. They will make it.
if they make it, MSC is out of points. That's that's the big problem. I consider risking it, being a bit more aggressive on the tires. Push as much as you can. Cover that. Don't have much time anymore to, to react, that's the thing. There's, there's just nothing happening. I mean, Ocon and Gwani and Norris are still fighting. But I want, want to get k Mag into that. Because if their tires drop, that's the big chance for k Mag. Look, that's k Mag in the background. If we can push him with aggressive driving now into the DRS zone of these guys, then there is a chance at the end of the race to take them down. But we have to do all of that before Paris catches up to us. I mean, he's lost now anyway. There's, there's nothing I can do for him. If these guys are not pitting, he's not getting into the points. It's just how it is. Bad luck. There is Norris. 1.7 seconds for Magnussen. If we get them, that will be big. Question is, can we make it in terms of tires? Norris is already on 37, so Norris is dropping hard now. As soon as we're within DRS range... We will stop being super, super aggressive on the tires. Just to quickly close the gap. And then we will put everything on it to to somehow fight those guys i would say there we are okay so how do we norris is super low already on on his tires there must be a chance for us to make this But k -Mac needs to get Norris quick, because Paris is coming. Unless they really bring them to pit, but... It seems like everyone else went pitting. Just these two. Six laps remaining. Won't. I think we can be slightly more aggressive on the tyres. Let's go for it. Go for that. They're all on worse tires than us. They will drop off earlier than us, or we'll go into the pits and then we're fine. So... That should be doable now. Come on, K-Mac. Does he get alongside? Oh, he gets alongside. Nice. That's number one. Oh, is it? Okay, good job. That's one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Matt isn't behind Guan Yu. Is that a new and Ocon. For Haas? There's Paris. We need to get away from Paris, man. <laughs> Paris is eating us alive. Still, oh, there's a DRS bug for Max. I was like, why do I not see him having DRS? But it's a DRS bug. Because I saw the DRS light being up, but his wing didn't fall. Flat down. It is. No, it doesn't. Okay. Fine. Five laps remaining. <sighs> K Mag, you already destroyed two chassis this weekend. You could at least get us a podium, the first podium of the season. Schumacher still has to hope for that one of them crashes or goes into the pits. Magnussen, we're kind of running out of laps. But I don't want to use your DRS because we probably need it to defend. 
Paris is Paris is now closing. On that, isn't it? On uh, Morris. He definitely tested over. Oh, he goes three wide again. No. K Mag that only works once a race. He did three wide already earlier and get a double over to. But it's like we can't do that all the time. We can't just go in there and be like, yeah, nothing will happen. Kevin, you're doing a brilliant job here. K Met goes through! K Met goes through! K Met on second! Keep it up. Alright! And now we have to run away, K Mac, because Paris is gone. Go, man! Go! With an overtake. Let's see, let's, let's watch the overtake again, just because it's so nice. Now just focus mm. on the hats. Mm, alongside, there's Paris already going for Norris. Okay, Mattison, you, you need to run away. You need to get out of DRS. Somehow, you need to get out of DRS. Do they still not want to pit? Like, for real? Oh, they're on 34, 34, 31. Perry sitting on 63, interesting. Gasly switched to softs in the end. Schumacher has to run a bit light on the his tires, to be honest. Still feeling that they won't make it. <laughs> hey, Magnussen. Leave. Just leave them in the dust, man. they all on 30 now for Norris. He will go red now. Like orange at least. So his pace, his pace will drop. Ocon is out of the window. Paris is still behind Norris. There is Sainz and Hamilton, the entire second groove. Look at them. They all come in now. And in front of that is this one guy, Kevin Magnussen, in a Haas, on second position in the US home race for Haas F1. And that could be the first podium. If we can... Look at the gap now. It's only two seconds to Kwon they're dropping hard in pace due to the tyres. As long as Paris is not easily making a par, par, pass, like making a pass, like we did, we only took us what one and a half laps to get through them. If he's not, if, if they're not getting through easily, that's a big chance. And they won't. Look at that, twenty-nine percent for Norris. He has to go standard because I don't want him to get close to Alonso. Max and Gatlin, two more half seconds. This should be it because Perry's passed Norris. Signs already closed in. There's still two cars behind me, but, but, um, between me and Perry's. And then we need to do all of that on the straight. Probably gets Guan Yu now. Maybe not. He doesn't. Yeah, it's definitely the Alpine bottleneck. The same that happened to me in the race, in this race, but I got around it. Two laps, Two to, go. laps to go. Magnussen, I think we can turn him to aggressive now. Don't have to get them that crazy anymore. And we even get slipstream of the two Williams now that are here. <laughs> Albon Latifi. But we still need one car to somehow get out of this because I want to have Mick into the points as well. But he isn't. Is there still a chance that one of them will pit on the last lap? Probably there isn't. Huh? The Ocon and the 20, they really drove those uh, 
fitting that <laughs> on sheer phase alone. Well, that's true. So they all really ran the tire all that far. They look at Paris going three wide now. He's trying everything to get the Red Bull to the podium and he does it. Oh, Sergio Paris. Oh. In the last lap attempt, getting the only remaining Red Bull onto a podium. This is it now. Magnussen already overtook Albon and Latifi. Will come around now. Is that check a flag for him? Is that check a flag for Mr. Magnussen? Hey, Mac, is that check a flag for you? Where's the check a flag? Fastest lap so far for K Mac. Okay, Mac, come on. Starting final lap. Go for it. Just keep pushing now. Let's Got see it. if we if we <laughs> if we can get it. Just deploy on the second half of the track. And what? Just just deploy, man. Just go for it. Let's Both get push. the quickest lap. <laughs> oh, it's getting the quickest lap in Miami. Although Paris now Oh no, Paris is still behind William. <laughs> oh Mick is fighting against Oh my goodness me! Mick is fighting Alonso. Magnuson. I mean this is not for a point, but you never know what happens with one of the other cars. Leclerc is through. Leclerc is through. Yeah, Magnus and Battery drained. No one cares, man. Just keep pushing. There's still a Williams in front of Paris. Oh my goodness me. Mick is holding on somehow. There's Bottas also coming back. Alonso Bottas. Can K get can K Mac get fastest lap points? Is that is that a possibility? Checkered flag. Checkered flag for K-Mac! Good drive. Yes! Mode slow. Second position for him. And Mick is still fighting against Alonso. The fight that we had several Ooh! Alonso Bottas nearly crashed. But Mick will go through. That will be 11. Ooh, where is he coming from? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Checkered flag. We made it. He started 11th, he finished 11th. If he wouldn't have had the two spins, it would have been Magnussen second, Mick third. No joke. A podium. Kevin Magnussen showing us how it's done. A it, great result. In the US, fastest lap and a podium for Haas F1. Haas F1, just give me a call. I know how this works. I'll bring some of the Overtake community along that will help out in Twitch chat. We can stream right, right from the from the command uh, stand. I think there's no problem with that. And I will make it happen for you. This is a this is a proper application now, Gunter. Bring me in. Well, the Dane had a very impressive race. Really delivering. Wow. The pressure was on. <laughs> We would have never thought that we'd make it. I mean, we crashed the car. We spun twice. And after all that hard work, surely it's time for them to enjoy this moment. Wow. K-Mac, man. Having a very successful day the, the overtake races. pit stop That's strategy right. department. Yes, Ash. That is ba basically we will, we will become an agency. And, and teams can hire us for that. And the constructor standings at the end of this weekend. Wow. Formula One will be back to Europe. <laughs> Haas will be bought by BPM. The That's the next thing that will happen. Some heated competition to look forward to in Spain. Catalonia next. But we did it. <laughs> Kevin Magnus 19 points. Normally I wasn't even expecting to make that the entire season with Haas to get 90 points. We could have had one more. Look at this. There was the chance for Mick to score. Ah. Oh. We made it! We made it! Drivers' Championship, Kevin Magnussen now up to 8th. Mick down to 13th, but we see he didn't score again. It's, it's still in front of Lando Norris, though, after what happened. Because Lando Norris also got eliminated on Q1. Wow! 
Wow, constructors. Wasn't enough though. That wasn't even enough to beat LP. I was expecting we move at least to fifth. But Alpine scored big, right? No, Fernando Alonso didn't score. Ah, uh, Esteban Ocon came fourth, yeah. So obviously Max Verstappen didn't make it that far. All right. This is it. We made it. Ah, oh, Fittipaldi did not get anything. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. Driver bonuses. Max got 440,000. 440,000 euros for uh, finish sixth or higher. He did. What should we do? He did. <laughs> Schumacher finished tenth or higher. He was so close. <laughs> Dear, what did he get for that, by the way? Don't know how much. Uh, all right. Performance incentives 235,000. Yeah, but that wasn't even enough to cover what we have to pay Kevin Magnussen. But fine. Okay with that. Points. Unbelievable over to community. Thanks for all the tips. That was incredible. Ash with the right. Oh, I think it was Ash with the call, right? Bring in, bring in Kevin. Put him on softs. That that was the way to go. I mean, Haas scored big in this one. Absolutely big. Incredible. That means now, Ash, you have to be around for every single race I do. I'm really sorry for you, but it's just how it is. <laughs> Damn. Wow. I'm astonished. That is that is incredible. Guys, right, so let me know in, like, jo obviously join our Discord if you're new here. In case you're not on our Discord, then obviously join the Discord. Let me know in the Discord if you want to see the next race. Should we stream? I probably can stream next week. Should we stream next week, maybe? And, and do the next race, which is Catalonia. Or do you think like, nah, that is boring, rather than not doing any Motorsport Manager? Yeah, I, Ashley was always crew chief. It's like, that was, uh, that is basically, <laughs> given away already very early on in the Overtakes life. When is quiz night? Uh, currently, Jonas is on holidays. Sending some time with his significant other. I would say. I assume so at least. <laughs> and uh, that's why we can't have quiz night right now. We will be back soon though. And then we can jump into quiz night. I think it's we had quiz night completely um, done already. As in prepared. But then uh, Marvin got ill and we didn't do it. So we can do it. He's busy with his YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Could be another one. Wow. We made it. We made it. So happy. That was incredible. A harsh podium. Who would have thought that? Like, for real. No one, right? So, big thanks to everyone out there. Big thanks for watching. And I would say, I'll see you guys next time around. And like I said, let me know in, on YouTube comments, wherever. Discord. Uh, let us know if you want to see F1 Manager or if we should switch to something else. Otherwise, I'm fine with either playing this only on stream. Or I can still do like a Spain race in between and we do the next one. So just let me know what you think about it. Don't forget, obviously, to like and subscribe to Overtake. That's always very appreciated. And maybe soon, maybe soon, if you like them, we can have like the... The hoodie has a real cool logo on it. This is like a standard over there. This is green, by the way. You can't see that due to my green screen. But um, the hoodie is really cool. Really cool. So um, take care, everyone. <laughs> My name is Renee, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.